welcome back i'd like to say thank you for everybody that's been hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel uh, we've just been having fun shooting some shotguns but i purchased a new shotgun here and i'm on the fence i don't know how i feel about it yet and we'll go over it but i got to compare it to one of my other models so i'm in the kitchen in tomato city man look at them tomatoes but anyway we're talking about guns so my new gun that i bought is used but it's the winchester s x4 cerakote edition it can shoot three and a half obviously you've seen my maxis before yes i got taped there because I don't want nobody to report my shotguns are stolen. Uh, call me whatever you want to call me. But anyway, Maxis 2 SX4. The Winchester is owned by Browning. Uh, right there, made in... I can't read what it says. Something by Browning. About, about that age, I'm going to have to start having glasses. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. Hey, I can read it better on the phone than I can from the barrel. But I want to compare these two guns. This is like a eighteen to two thousand dollar gun. I think I got this one for like seventeen and some change from uh, Reeds. Uh, I think this one goes for about eight ninety nine and up. Depends on the model and versus camo versus Cerakote. I would really like to put a browning silver right in here and compare all three. So I'm going to call this the mama and I'm going to call this the baby. But there's a lot of stuff in between these two guns that look exactly the same. If you look at where you can cycle another shell, buttons look identical. The charging handles look identical. The bolt itself looks almost identical. This one's got like an edge going down where the Maxxis 2 doesn't, but the bolt itself looks identical. The Both of the guns have the safety on the back side. This one's more square than the Browning. Uh, the barrel lengths are both 28 inch barrel. They both shoot the exact same barrel chokes then vector plus this one they're both got mods in this one remember this is a, a wicked wings edition so it's got the extended goose band choke style tubes uh, the maxis 2's got some grip right here we got grip on the cheek we'll get into some other stuff here in a minute but looking at the barrel, they're both vented. The Maxxis 2 has an extra bead right there where the Winchester does not. Now that the bolts are slid back, looking inside the barrel, they both have this hole here on both barrels. Looking down in them, they look exactly the same. So I've been shooting this Federal Dove target load out of this one. Two boxes, I've had three jams. Now if you remember from the first, first video, this gun jammed one time while loading and it was not, it was shooting some ball shells. I think it was like the second shell that's ever went through this gun jammed and it's never jammed since. And I have put a ton of shells through it. This one here, I got it used, but it's, it's really looked like it's been took care of. It jammed in the exact same spot. When it was coming in, it barely, barely got hit right there. And I don't know if maybe maybe it needs some more rounds through it. Maybe it needs to be cleaned. Maybe there's some kind of 
burrow right in here somewhere that needs to be polished out. I'm not sure. So I'm on the fence about the, the Winchester. I'm sure it's just a, just something that's gonna have to be cleaned or polished that definitely gonna get, get worked out before I go hunting with it. A duck hunt, this one right here, I plan to do some kayaking and I, I definitely would rather lose this gun than my Maxis. I'm comparing these. I'm not saying that, oh, you ought to go get a, a Winchester because it's so much closer to the Browning. Uh, I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying this is the mama. This is the baby. The Winchester will not let you auto load like the Browning. The Browning, you can auto load. They call it the quick, kind of hard to do with one, one finger here holding the camera. But as soon as I let go of this, it's gonna automatically put one in the chamber. The Winchester does not have that feature. Both guns right here have what they call the back i'm not even sure i can't even remember what it's called it's back something bore technology that makes it go at a 45 degree i'll post that picture right after this slide off of browning's website i think the maxis the a5 the bps the silvers the winchester they they all have that technology in their barrels so i'm going to take the grips off the front here and i'm going to show you the gas system looking at the gas system you can tell they look pretty close being about the same the pistons look a little bit different again i'm not comparing saying hey you ought to buy this gun because it's going to be just as good as the maxis the mama the baby but one thing i did notice when I unboxed the Winchester, it had a plastic piece right here, and that goes to the bolt. And I was like, man, that's kind of kind of cheap. How in the world is that going to last? It's plastic. But the SX3 and the X, SX4 has been around a long time. There's a lot of people on the internet to shoot these. Must be pretty good. So I said, huh, I'm gonna go look at my Maxis. Well, guess what? It ain't the exact same one, but it looks pretty daggone close to me. So, I kind of gave it a hard knock, but we're gonna see, we're gonna, we're gonna actually see what she does. There's gonna be a lot more videos of this one coming out real soon with some Dove pattern testing we got a ton of shells the pattern test with upcoming dove season like i said i really want to use this and the duck trips that i got for salt water uh kayaking down a river i definitely don't want to mess up my my brownie looking at the back side the maxis has the magazine cut off so if you just want to eject one out you cut this off and it won't pop one up the winchester does not have that feature obviously i got that one covered up too so if you want to know what tape is but i'm fixing to throw them on the, the scale and we'll weigh them out and see what the difference is but again that's the difference maybe between a 900 dollar gun and an 1800 dollar gun so we're going to shoot more rounds through that Winchester, see what she'll do. We're going to do some two and three quarter inch steel challenge coming up soon. So look out for it. Uh, there's definitely more going to come from the Maxis. We're going to be doing some dove loads real soon. Dove season's coming up. We're going to pattern some of them. Got a bunch of different brands. But like always, hit the like and subscribe. See you next time.